and welcome back to SB Smart Minute. And for those of you who are joining us for the very first time, my name is Michael Crane, and on behalf of the entire team at SBE, thank you for joining us. The purpose of Smart Minute is to quickly highlight just one solution that can help you build even greater results. And today we're talking about a very serious topic. Today we're talking about how to deal with an angry mother-in-law or how to deal with an upset customer. When it comes to these two people, I have the following two things to share. And the first is a mindset. We have to train our staff that when they're dealing with an upset customer, it is not a matter of who is right or who is wrong. It's what will work. Listen, I might be able to prove that my mother-in-law is wrong and that I am right. But the question is, will that work? You and I both know it won't. And the same is true in dealing with the customer. Now listen, I know that there's a time and a place to let a customer know that you're firing them. But I don't know of any bank that will allow us to make a deposit in the amount of how many times we were able to tell a customer that they were wrong. The second point I'd like to illustrate is best illustrated this way. To choose the right response to any heated situation, we first identify which of the four quadrants the situation belongs in. As you can see, there are four quadrants that are guided by two axes. The first, running vertically, is responsibility. On the low end, we have little to nothing to do with causing the situation. To the high end, where we are at total fault. The axis running horizontally is severity. On the low end, the severity or impact to the customer, our mother-in-law, is low. Moving to the far right, we have a situation where the severity and implications are high. When the situation was not caused by us and the severity is low, we train our staff to empathize. When we find ourselves at total fault, yet the severity is still low, we simply repair and apologize. Moving down diagonally, we find that we are not at fault, but the impact to the customer is high. This is where we become the hero. And of course, the last and most undesirable situation where we are at total fault and the severity is very high. In this case, we train our staff to call for all hands on deck and we bring the resources needed so we can put out the fire and care for those to whom we've disappointed. Now keep these two things in mind the next time you're dealing with an angry mother-in-law or an upset customer, and I have no doubt you two can create even greater results. To learn more about SBE or to book Michael for an upcoming event, contact us today. We are eager, able, and happy to help.